Hello best friends, so today I'm going to bake a cake. Now I am not known for my cake baking skills, but I came across this book on the internet and I fell in love. This is Roald Dahl's Revolting Recipes. Now, Roald Dahl wrote all the books that I read when I was a child. Uh, James and the Giant Peach, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The Twits, Matilda, and I had this book when I was a child. But, my mother hates me and we never actually made any of the recipes, so I'm reliving my childhood and I'm going to make the cake from Matilda. If you haven't read Matilda or seen the film, then go and educate yourself now because it's amazing. Anyway, let's do this. I was a child a long time ago, I wonder when this book actually was released. 1994! I am so old. Step one, preheat your oven to 180 degrees centigrade, or gas mark four. Okay oven, let's put you on. Good, going well so far. Step two, grease and line cake tin with greaseproof paper. Okie dokie. I have two cake tins. They are identical, I think they stack. You don't do that, do you? No. Why have I got two of the same? Scissors. Scissors! Yes! I'm a genius. Melt the chocolate in a Pyrex bowl over a saucepan of simmering water or on a low heat in a microwave. Where is the kettle? Ah, kettle! Can I work you, kettle? Okay. It's not Pyrex, but it's a bowl and it fits. So, I guess we'll try that. 225 grams of chocolate. Okay, scales. Scales. If I were scales, where would I be? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, Ta. Uh, do we have any scales? We were just about to buy you some and then we... I really need the toilet and our hands are full. And okay. so you didn't bother. Yeah, okay. All right, so how do I work this out? Look, I need 225 grams. These come in 150s. You can work that out. So that's, so to both of those are 300 grams, yeah. what do you need? 225. Okay, so do you, like one and three quarters? One and three quarters it is. Hello! There's Tan and, <laughs> tan and Nimbob here. <laughs> Melt faster. Mix in the butter and stir until melted. 175 grams of softened butter. Butter I have, scales I don't. This is 250 and I need 175. So we're going to say half is 125, so just over half. I'm going to call it there. Agreed? Ah, oh, it's on my hands, on my hands, on my hands. We've run out of kitchen rolls. We've run out of kitchen rolls on my hands. Whoa, where do I go to sink? And the tea towels are on the bottom. Whoa, it's on my hand, what do I do with it? And a scale, a kitchen roll. I'm not marrying you anymore. Oh yeah. Add the flour, sugar, and lightly beaten egg yolks. No one told me about beating any egg yolks. I have to separate the eggs, all six of them. Oh no, that's too much. The important thing to do is not panic. Oh, I burst it. Time, I burst my yolk, what am I going to do? Oh no, just abort, abort, abort. abort. Do, you, okay. do you need the yolk? I need it's all six of them. Oh, that fire is sticky! Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I like eggs. <laughs> oh god, keep staring at you. Blimey, otherwise you're going to go funny. Baking is much harder than I thought. There's a lot that goes into it. A lot of ingredients, but also a lot of effort. Four tablespoons of flour. It says plain flour. And I have self-raising flour because I didn't know there was a difference. Is that a tablespoon? Is it supposed to be heaped? Am I supposed to keep it on the heat? It doesn't say anything about that. Probably should have sieved that flour because it's quite lumpy. 225 grams of caster sugar. This was originally a 500 gram bag, so it would have been about half of that. But it's been used and I have no idea how much of it was used. So there's literally no way of telling without scales. Um... So I guess now I'm going to add in my uh, egg yolks, and uh, hopefully it won't explode. Oh, that's hot! <laughs> it may have scrambled a little bit. Whisk the egg whites until stiff. Whisk, 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 whisk. You can tell I don't bake because I know where knives and forks and plates are. That is it. Whisk, whisk. How long is this going to take? Whisking takes a while. Oh, <laughs> ah, 
making is physically difficult. Uh... Whilst whisking, I just checked on my mixture, and in hindsight, it was a mistake to put the eggs in while the mixture was still hot, because it scrambled and separated. I've got like a weird layer of liquid on top and uh, then like a mushy brown texture. I mean, it looks a bit like sewage, if I'm honest. Just keep whisking, just keep whisking. Come on, stiff, go stiff. <laughs> I've just realized what this looks like. <laughs> and I'm saying go stiff. Gently fold half of the whites into the chocolate mixture, mixing thoroughly. It's coming together. I've actually fixed it, I think. I mean, it looks pretty good now. Next step is to cook it for 35 minutes. This tray is much too... Oh, I get it. This is why there are two, because it's like a, a sandwich thing. You make two and you put them on top of each other. This cake isn't like that, but they're the only tins I have, so I'm going to have to make do, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was really naughty. Oh my god, it's absolutely amazing. I am accidentally incredible at cooking. Hey Tara, Hello. come put your finger in this. That is so good. Slightly concerned that now I've put the mixture in two, whether I should cook it for 35 minutes, like it says, or less time. I'm gonna put it in, I'm just gonna keep checking it kind of every couple of seconds, I think. So they had about 20 minutes in total, and I can't actually show you it because I've got another glove on, but check it out! Two perfect cakes! In a Pyrex bowl over a saucepan of simmering water, melt together the chocolate and cream, stirring occasionally until the chocolate is fully melted and blended with the cream. 225 grams of chocolate, the same as before, and 225 grams of double cream. Since when have you measured liquids in solid quantities? I've got 600 millilitres here, how much is that in grams? So that's 225 grams of chocolate. The cream is much heavier. I guess I'm just going to pour in cream until it feels about the same amount of weight, I suppose. That's a lot. That might have been too much. I'm still not sure about my cream to chocolate ratio, but it's looking very, very good in there. I'm going to take out my first cake. Fingers crossed. Okay, that's good, that's really good. A little bit of that in the middle. I was supposed to use a spatula for this part, I haven't got one. So there we go, this is my cake. I mean, it's a bit messy. 10 out of 10 for effort, 3 out of 10 for presentation. But let's try it. Uh, I'm going to knock him over, I think. It's the best way to go. I'm not even joking, that is like the best cake in the world. I'm so proud of myself, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, let's try it. Come try it. Right? Really good. So that was the end of my video. You should get them to send you photos if they make it. Yeah, tell you what, make this. Send me a photo on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag Baking with Jim. Um, honestly, really, really amazing. Despite the fact I scrambled it and didn't have any scales, it turned out really well. If I can do it, you can do it too. I love you and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.